representing Prime MMA and uh, he's coming off a fight uh, uh, I think a battery in a Dunstable and there's a very very controversial decision that he dropped to uh, Basia Batana and it was controversial because the first two rounds were incredibly close and then Ibrahim kind of mauled him for the third and it was that classic is it a 10-8 is it not a 10-8 is this a draw is it one win and if you look at the, the totality of the fight I think Ibrahim did more damage but the way we score fights is by rounds, who won the most rounds generally, unless someone is crazy dominant in one round, and that's what made it controversial, but Ibrahim, incredibly happy, lovely fighter, and uh, he's quite dangerous, he's very spinning and stuff. Uh, he's very, very good with his hands, he's been working on his wrestling a lot, especially since those earlier fights, and it'll be nice to see what the prime gym out of Dunstable can start cooking up in terms of fighters, they've had a very successful fighter, you see it there in the background, Duncan Jalali. Now this next generation is coming up. Abraham all smiles. There's definitely some meanness under there. But he's gonna be fighting 2-0 Roscoe Pepworth. That's gonna be uh, that's a tough test for anybody. Roscoe's so strong. Yeah, Roscoe's crazy physical, but it's also beyond that, he's been really improving in technique and uh, getting more and more dangerous all the time. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what he does during this fight. Shout out to everyone watching live on pay-per-view at MMA UK. Uh, Reese Warner, Jack Foster watching live at home. We've got also a uh, very much a sellout crowd, I think, here on the Battle Arena commentary. Everyone is very excited about this particular fight. This was tipped as possible fight of the night. I also think maybe this could be over very quickly, Steve. Well, it really does depend who gets there fastest with the most distance who has got the right game plan. Either fighter could be caught wanting in this. We don't want that to happen. Now yeah, the coolest shorts I ever saw. <laughs> Roscoe Pebworth coming out representing Kraken MMA. Incredibly strong. Uh, he's had moments where his cardio looks as possibly slightly suspect, but maybe that's not fair. Maybe it's just his output is so high that you're inevitably going to get tired. I believe uh, he's been on the right side of two decisions, hasn't he? Yeah, he beat Tom Berry at Ballerina Northampton by decision, and uh, I think Derek Holding as well. I'm pretty sure he got that nod by decision, so maybe it's a bit unfair to criticise his gas tank if he oh. keeps scoring decisions. Possibly not. It's just the maybe he's made some, some changes there. He has been the stronger, stockier fighter in the, in the past. We'll see how he measures up against Ibrahim. Yeah, it's a, it's had two fighters that he could really out physical before, and uh, Ibrahim is he's very, very strong as well in this division. I can, I don't think he's going to be easily out muscled. Ibrahim happy as could be. I like the fact that Sam Creasy in Ibrahim's corner looks so angry and terrifying, but his fire looks like he's out dancing. It's a happy chap. Maybe it's maybe that's the way Sam judges your dancing. Hey, I think you've got to be pretty moody if you've got a ponytail. You know, I, I assumed Ibrahim would have a big reach advantage, but they're not actually too much between them. Ooh. I feel a bit nervous for this fight. Roscoe wants to rumble.
Roscoe just gave the double guns pose, man. Like, yeah, <laughs> he's ready. He's a big old boy. He's already. He's not nearly as short as you would think he is, right? Like to be that size, he's definitely. He's chopping a lot of weight off himself. He's so heavily yep. muscled. Uh, Ibrahim is also pretty heavily muscled for his frame. Oh, both of us fell into the first few seconds. Somebody dropped a gun. Oh. Was that a gun? We said before from Roscoe that he doesn't take shots overly well, it's but this is it. what he does, Steve. No position. He He's runs you to the cage, he holds you there, uses that frame. Yeah, Ibra has a very nice wizard, overhook wizard position. If he commits yeah. to it, there he used it to dig the, the underhook me. there. He's got to watch because Pebworth is going to chase his legs. Good. Yeah. Now he's going to look to lift, right? So he just needs to a single. stay heavy. Yeah, it's good by Roscoe. Ibrahim dug that underhook. Roscoe just switched to the single. Ibrahim using his own judo style little trip there. This is where I That's thought it would be interesting because Roscoe has been able to kind of outmuscle everyone in these positions before. Ibrahim is probably a little bit That's stronger right. than his previous opponents. And he's doing the right things technically. And he's getting under that arm, he's focusing on the head. Back to the wizard in the head! <laughs> it's an extra corner man in that team. It should be. <laughs> so all things that, uh, that Ibra does well. And Roscoe's doing so well here just to hold on. He strips the grip there. He's trying to build him back up. Yeah. What's weird about Roscoe doing this, though, is he's not really chaining to his single. He needs to step off to his right side and try to gather that up and run Ibra along the fence, which he's done there a bit. But he is, this is a very tiring position as he works to get his hands together. Ibra's got to be aware of that because now Ibra, he's going to get lifted and taken down. Oh, Roscoe drags this fight to the floor in the half guard of Ibrahim. Ibrahim doing kind of a modified lockdown almost on that leg. He needs to work that underhook. Yeah. Try to he needs to lift himself up. What Steve means by that is his left arm is currently over that arm. He needs to dig under to allow him to uh, make some space, come onto his right elbow and start working back to his feet. At the moment, he's a little bit stuck because of that underhook. Underhook, underhook, underhook. <laughs> Steve is uh, calling for an underhook on that side. Just waiting for it. Now he's got that nice lockdown. Now he can possibly dig it. Yeah, that's the thing. If you get the lockdown, you need the underhook. And at the moment, Ibrahim is holding on. He's not digging that underhook. Needs to set up. Left arm underhook. There he goes. He's got the opposite side. Of the there you go. He's got the so underhook now, Steve. Now. This could be a lot more successful from there. There we go. Now he can turn in if he wanted to. Yeah, it's going to give him a little bit more space now. He's got that underhook. I can't believe you're shouting advice to one of the fighters, Steve. That never, seems biased. Never. Roscoe's, good, though. Roscoe's, Roscoe's done well to kind of eke this out after getting stung on the top. And yeah, gets to land. this is Roscoe's round, definitely. Another shot. Neither of these shots landed, but he gets the takedown in the control. That was a, that's a round to Roscoe's just constant pressure using that physicality. And uh, he's been to decision before. He's got a good gas tank. He can drive to the cage and. Uh, this is what was very similar to Roscoe's style we've seen before. Yeah, this is how tired, this is what happens now. Well, now we're going to assume that Ibrahim wants to keep this now on the feet, keep that distance, use some kicks up the middle, get Roscoe guessing about rushing in and closing the distance. Nice replay of that takedown. Nice, nice takedown. Very nice. Got the hands together. That was it. Very, very strong. Very very powerful. Powerful. Breathing deep. Great cornering there. Got Duncan Jalali in his corner. I think Sam Creasy as well behind the cage. Cage Warriors champion, giving him his little bits of advice that can make such a difference. Let's see how the second round leaks out because Pebworth is just a freight train coming forward nowadays with that double leg. You see which man might have tired in that three minute change. There's a lot of work there on Pebworth's point to try to get it to the ground. Yeah, use that pussy. That's oh, what he has to do. He has to try to trip Roscoe. Oh, ends up on the bottom. Terrible advice from Steve. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Yeah, he nearly had it. Oh, it gets the close guard. That's a good, good position for Ibrahim. Can be dangerous from here. 
for a kind of shoulder crunch to be there briefly. He's coming up, looking for a hip bump. And Roscoe is very strong. It's going to make anything from this position tough. Also, Roscoe, you know, he's keeping his arms low. He's vulnerable to armor platters, bringing the leg high. He's keeping his head in his chest. It's much more MMA style than Jiu-Jitsu style. Prime has added a lot of Jiu-Jitsu to their program as well. So that might see some balance there. He's wrapping the head, which is good. He's so vulnerable to uh, those arms are just on the floor. That hip bump sweep that Evan's looking for. Even like Sean Millen's got or a triangle that he's trying to throw up there, trying to set it up by controlling that arm, bring his right knee through. He's looking on the other side. The problem is most judges are going to score this for Roscoe because he's on top and he's landing shots. Yep, he's working landing shots. It's going to be hard to sweep him off or drag his arm out, even with that guard locked. Oh, nice. Unlocked. Butterfly. He brings him up there, get elevation, get a sweep. Decides to go back to close guard. I love it, Steve, when people put their hands on the mat like Roscoe's doing. It gives me little Sean Williams guard yeah, entries. Yeah, just boom, lock over. Yeah, lock over it. You see, you see he's looking for that over wrap position, maybe. And it could be the difference between you know, doing jiu-jitsu in the gym, the guy on top is trying to pass, it's all about posture. Roscoe knows not to do that. He's keeping his head in the chest, he's driving forward, not looking for the pass, landing the shots, winning the round. And this is a, this is a much more polished Roscoe cover than this in the fall. Very, he, a lot more measured. Knows, he knows where his strengths are, and he's definitely working towards him, that's for sure. I know that Ibrahim last time out dropped two rounds and had an amazing round three, and this could end up being the same story. Roscoe does not want to play that game, though. Ibrahim, when you watch this video back, just Google Sean Williams' guard. It will be, uh, People put their hands like Roscoe is. It's amazing. Walk himself back towards the cage, maybe, and build up off the cage. That might be an idea. It is. Yeah, it's so there's a lot of control here, but Roscoe looking for the Dagestani hand wrap a little bit. Unusual from inside the closed guard, but I'm sure it'll work. It's kind of old school, actually. If he wants to pass the arm, to get the pass. A lot of good riding time here from Roscoe. Yep. We had to bump that. And uh, another round for Roscoe Pebworth. And it, this is a different Roscoe, much more measured, pacing himself a lot better. Although he looks tired, that's the freshest we've probably seen him going into the third round. <laughs> Ibrahim also doesn't look too tired. Just maybe frustrated. Just frustrated. I'd, I'd like to see Ibrahim just throw some shots, really. This, if he was allowed to, he needs to back up. He needs yeah. to move away. If he could have opened round one with some shots down the middle, maybe a little teep up the middle, get Roscoe worried about rushing forward. Yeah, it's just, this was always going to be the exact blueprint of how Roscoe was going to fight and being able to move off cut angles, etc. Not stand in front of him, not get blinded by it, and being able to fight off the cage is really important. He's got a very nice little wizard over at, overhook bump that he can use. Um, he committed to it well, but then being able to come back over the top or get head position or break the posture. This is where I always think that Roscoe's in danger of being finished because he is exhausted. He uses all that that time to hold you up. But there's three minutes only for Ibra to work. He's dropped two rounds. He needs to be on this for the finish. Yeah, he's going to know that as well. He's going to come out aggressive. Down. There you go. Yeah, and now he's going to come forward, right? Keep him away. Sprawl, 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 sprawl. That's good. That's good. She hikes him up. Uses both underhooks. The issue is which has been, once again, the strength of Roscoe. Yeah, doing better here to have wide knees. No one on Battlerine has been able to solve the problem that is the gargantuan back of Roscoe Pebworth. Oh, he's gargantuan. <laughs> Huge. And now he's working again. He's going to work to get his hands together and try to pull it. It'd be nice to see if Ibrahim can push the head down as he was doing in round one, but he can get lifted. Ibrahim's got two minutes twenty to try and get something to work. Got to try and separate, but it is so hard. And Roscoe knows he's two rounds up. He, you know, he's quite happy to hold here or get a huge nice. state down. Nice. Oh, back onto his feet. Ibrahim looking to his corner. Very coachable is Ibrahim. Oh, this could be a problem. He needs to stand back up, get his legs back under him. If he can, hands are separated, stand up. 
he's got to stand up. He's got to work that out. He's desperately trying to get back to his feet. He's trying to follow his corner's advice, but being told what to do and doing it are different things, especially if you've got Roscoe Pebworth on top of you holding you down. It's great to see the improvements from Roscoe Pebworth. Justice this is in good. his game. Good wall walking here. Where he gets his hands back together. Just going to pull him away, I'm sure. One minute 20 for Ibrahim to try and get something going. Well, he's got Alan Jackson there. He might be able to hold on and get stood back up. We'll just get another map return here. He's just switching out positions. Switch, 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 switch. Old school wrestler switch. All right, there's a switch. Switch. Playing a bit of jiu jitsu now, Ibrahim. One minute left One minute to try left, and yeah. get something going. I think Ibrahim's going to be very frustrated watching this fight back, Steve, listening to us. Um, not just because of us, but just the, the just couldn't get going. Such a fantastic fighter with such a broad range of skills, and we're not getting to see any of it. So I'm sure it's incredibly, incredibly frustrating for him. A nice knee up the middle. He's doing everything he can. But the Roscoe Pebble show is just continuing. Nice knee. Yeah, nice 30 knee. seconds. 30 seconds. It's a very See, this uh, is, this is another round. weird round. Like, yeah, I mean, technically, Ibrahim's the only one's done any damage. Roscoe's just held this position the whole time. But also, he's the controlling one, the dominant one. Roscoe, he's the one controlling where the fight is. I guess being more aggressive. I think Ibrahim's going to be very disappointed in that one. And Roscoe should rightly be proud. Ibrahim's corner, just looking a little frustrated. And I understand, it's, it's so annoying when you feel like your fighter doesn't even get a go. You know, he didn't have his moments, so Roscoe just stuck to the game plan. Did what he's done before, but actually did it better. Measured, controlled, better resting position, better I head think, position. I think it was just a, a there, was, there was a lot of great, good there from Pepperworth. It was over commitment in the strikes from Ibrahim. He was, all, he was always like over committing to his shots, I think. If he would have just flicked him out there, moved back and moved off and circled, that could have been a lot better. Guy that's going to come forward like that. Got to be aware of it. Move off. Really nice seeing the evolution of Roscoe Pebworth. He's gone from just maybe relying on his physicality to now just a little bit broader with his technique, strategy as well. Excellent work. And to just shut down such a talented, skilled fighter in Ibra and Matia, just about to shut all that down, stick to the game plan, is admirable. And this game is not always about having the most exciting fights. It is about winning fights, putting together those win streaks. Well, now he's on a 3-0 win streak, that's for sure.